well, since you guys led for an extended period of time in the game, and tonight you led wire to wire. How did that feel? Did you see anything in practice that gave you an indication that you guys would be ready to go? If that happens, I don't know that. Uh, I thought, I, yeah, we were ready to play to start the game. Uh, I mean, we played really well early, and, and uh, till about the 13-minute mark, and we dropped off a little bit after that. But, but uh, uh, guys were locked in. And did I see anything in practice to lead me to believe we play like that? No. Did I feel that we would play much better? Yes, just because of of guys probably not being very happy. But, but, but. Uh, you know, we, we, we did a good job. That team's very quick, and they got their hands on a lot of balls, and for the most part, we did a good job guarding. Coach, you guys shot 24-3 today. Was that a big emphasis in the game plan? How well do you think you guys executed that? Uh, you know, I don't go into it thinking we want to shoot a ton of threes this game. I, I go into it thinking that hopefully we're balanced enough that we'll run offense the right way, and if threes are open, we take them. And, but we still got to get the ball you know, inside. We did a better job getting it inside, but we didn't do a better job getting to the free throw line, obviously. That's six halves in a row we hadn't got to the bonus. Six in a row. So so three consecutive games we didn't get to the bonus. So so and 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 we got to do things differently, but we actually drove it better today. That's the best we've driven it in a long time. So so uh, we gotta we gotta improve and, and be able to get fouled uh, uh, because you know that's they, they our 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 bench especially couldn't guard their bigs. And they got free throws that way, and and we couldn't exploit them by getting to the free throw line. But uh, uh, it's it, it it does, you know, we we've, we've been the beneficiary of of shooting more free throws than our opponents for you know 21 straight years, and it it, it is tougher when teams get you know 11 on the average 11 more opportunities a game than what we get, or or something like that. So we got to some, find some way to stem that tide. You mentioned the bench having trouble guarding their bigs. From your perspective, what was it like managing that foul trouble late in the first half, ending the second half? Well, I, I didn't want to put Hunt back in just because we had a lead. Uh, I trusted Hunt, but but you know, the thing about it is that we, uh, uh, I would rather our bench get in foul trouble than put Hunt back in. So so uh, you know, that's kind of what we did. But I was I was uh, uh, really disappointed to be honest with you because. We let them catch it where they wanted to, and then and then we let them get to their strengths, and then we were undisciplined and jumped and reached and things like that to just make them make hard shots over. So we got we got to really improve on that, but uh, but obviously we didn't do a good job in that area at all. Back, back to the free throw thing, it, is that a, is that a mindset? There's so many things in basketball that are just mindset. I mean, do your guys have to have a mindset of just drawing more contact or getting fouled more, or is that not part of it? No, I think it's a part of it. You know, we, we've got a finesse big guy uh, uh, that can play power, but he's more finesse. And we got a, a four man that's not going to get fouled a ton because he doesn't look to score a lot. Uh, and then we got two guards that are finesse guards. Uh, and then Ryland is a finesse guy. So, so uh, as far as putting our nose down and forcing help, really Juan and Zeke are our best options at that. And, and, uh, uh, or maybe AJ, and, and we're just not doing it right now. We're, we're not doing it. And, and I think other teams are are doing a good job of, of uh, you know, making us make plays uh, without giving us free points. There was a lot of times tonight, not a lot, I'd say there's three or four times tonight we gave them eight free throws where I wish we just would have walled up and they make it, they make it. So, so uh, I think teams are doing a better job of being disciplined, staying down, and not reaching guarding us than what we are them. You, you guys who were just in here too, um, Dewan and Zeke especially, it talked about how much easier the game is playing through Hunter. He puts up numbers like that. How close is that to the identity you think this team maybe could have or should have? Uh, I didn't think we threw it to him on the block and he scored a lot on the block. I thought we threw it to him a lot out of short rolls and things like that and made some really good plays to him. But if we become a better screening team, we'll be we'll get more baskets like that. Uh, and I thought we did a better job screening tonight. So, but we got to play through Hunt, guys. He got 21 and seven, uh, uh, and 14, and and a really dumb foul. Uh, uh, so we we got to do a better job of of, uh, of playing through him, and he's got to do a, a a better job of cleaning some things up. But I thought he and Juan and and Zeke were really good tonight. I mean, really good. 
Coach, when Dewan Sam gets called upon late in the first half to be a scorer, how good did it feel to see him get going in that way? You know, you guys see the game differently than I do, uh, uh, to your question. He, he was never called upon to be anything other than one. You know, that's if, if they go under a ball screen, shoot it. If they if they don't, then so so the game should t- should dictate with him when he's most aggressive. And in that particular situation, to your point, I think we needed him to be that way, but it wasn't like, God dang Juan, you've got to take over now or anything like that. Again, just just be who you are. And, and, and uh, I think so many times with, with Juan, people want him to be different than who he is. And he's plenty good enough the way he is. So, so uh, but you're not always gonna have good games, but, but uh, I thought today he was, he was really good. Not because we encouraged him to be different. It's just because, you know, if they play us this way, you got to take advantage of that. When KJ had his foul trouble in the second half, you put AJ into the four. What do you think about that lineup? With Not any AJ? good. I, I didn't think it was any good at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it wasn't any good. It wasn't not any good because of personnel. Is that they were playing two bigs, and you know AJ's not and hadn't practiced doing that much. So so uh, uh, I thought they did a good job of playing to our our our, our personnel. Uh, so but I didn't think it was very good to be honest with you. And you mentioned practice there. It, does AJ do much at the four? Is he mostly in the three in practice? Or is he uh, kind of most of the time? I think he's most. Oh, no, he's a three and a four. But usually, uh, this is the first time all year long we played. Uh, a team that played two bigs, so so uh, that 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 was probably a bigger problem. Coach, how important was that just to get off to that quick start, just to get things flowing? Right, I know you mentioned that kind of fell off a little bit. How important is it to get you know going like that in games, whether it's home or away? Uh, well, it, it doesn't happen as much away to get <coughs> off to starts like that. I think I've only had one team maybe ever get off to a fifteen to nothing start away from home. But we've had a few at home, uh, but uh, I, I, yeah, it's important. It, it was probably more important today than most because confidence probably a little shaken, and to see the ball go in the hole early on was a big bonus for us. Anything else? Okay. I got one. Henry. Oh yeah, um, you got another eight day stretch. How can you best manage these kind of long stretches between games, especially this time of year? We need to practice. We need to practice. Uh, you know, it's finals week, so that'll take precedent over everything. But but we need to practice and get better before January, I mean, December 31st. So so this will be good. Uh, uh, you know, I don't, I, we're not going to crush our guys by any stretch or whatever. But the, the things that we need to get in for conference play, probably some of those will be this week. What did you think looking back of the sweep of the Carolina Triangle teams? I had thought of that one second, Gary, but, but I think you should elaborate on it a little bit more. Uh, uh, I don't know if anybody d- does that very often. So, so it, we, we've had a good run. Of course, two of them were at home. Uh, and next year, it'll be more impressive if we sweep because we'll have Duke neutral and at Carolina and, and uh, at State. So, so uh, uh, but no, it, it, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 I think Kevin's great. And uh, of course, the run they had last year was was probably a little unexpected, but it was kind of a typical NC State 1983 type run again. So, so uh, 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 they've got good athletes. They'll have a good year uh, without question, and certainly we hope they have a good year. But uh, I like playing the, the schools in the triangle, neutral or home, probably a hell of a lot more than I will like playing on neutral and away. Did Middlebrook impress you with his work down line? I thought he was really good today. Yeah, I thought he was really good. He had he had more uh, more more shimmy, more wiggle in his game than what I thought. Uh, uh, I thought he did a really good job of of hitching and, and doing some things to get guys off balance, to give them angles and stuff like that. So I think he's a good player. Were you able to visit with any of the former players that came today, like Jordan? Uh, yeah, Adonis. I just yeah, he was. That's why I was late in here. He and his daughter are here, and and. Uh, you know, I, I, I did not, I coached against Adonis. I did not actually do it a lot, but he was playing when I was an assistant at OP State. So, uh, uh, you know, damn good point guard. Uh, living in, in Melbourne now, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, uh, probably didn't get a chance to get here much, but it's great that he came to a game because I know it's been a while. I don't know if he's been to a game since I've been here. Uh, and then, 
of course, that Wagner was here and, and Nash was here, and then, and then, you know, my favorite of the group, uh, uh, you know, Grady was here. So, so it, it was it was great to see. Anything else? Thanks, coach. Thanks, All right, coach. Thanks, All right, coach. Yeah.